Okay, well yesterday I was at an antique mall here in Adamstown and I ran into Tommy and he said, why haven't you been back? You have to come and visit us. So today I drove back out to Adamstown and we are going to go see Tommy at the Vintage Kitchen and see what new treasures he has. So here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. and welcome to my channel. Okay, well I'm not just going to walk through the Pyrex room. I figured I would film it for you guys today. Tommy has quite the collection of Pyrex, if you can't tell. <laughs> I recently bought this set for myself at auction. Um, this Daisy one and also this one down here. Bought this one as well refrigerator dishes here's a mm, green ivy chip and dip i just love the colors it's so fantastic and then there's more on this side <laughs> i have some of these plates with the pink band on them should probably get those listed at some point Corning is over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's always so overwhelming when I come in here in a good way. And it's so organized and overwhelming, which I like. Those are some Bosco peanut butter jars. <laughs> and every flower. <laughs> oh, it's nuts. Oh, here's some more over here. That one's neat in the back. The Wizard of Oz. I didn't know they had a Wizard of Oz peanut butter glass. Of course, they have it marked as rare, so it's probably harder to find. That's why I've never seen it before. All right, well, let's head towards the back room. Here we are in the land of Fenton. <laughs> Look at it all. Oh my goodness. It just goes on and on forever. All right, well, let's start finding stuff that we can buy. I don't really remember those chesty cats being here the last time we visited. There's quite a few of them there. Um, I'm used to seeing the carnival glass one. That's the one I see the most often. But here you have an example of different colors and patterns. The one in the back almost looks like a Christmas kitty. I love all of this stuff. With the poinsettias and the ivy. The last time I was here, I bought a few of the little trinket dishes and they did pretty well for me. So I think I'm gonna check out some of these trinket dishes. I think these are called uh, jewel boxes. I think that's what they were originally called because I've had one with the original sticker on it before. I'm pretty sure they called them jewel boxes, uh, but I love the patterns with the florals. $20. There's a matching vase back there with daisies. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with daisies. It seems to be a reoccurring theme recently. So the vase is $20. And the little box is $20. I can usually get 20% off, so... I think I'm gonna take both of those. Here's some blue satin with the daisies. I like that one right there in the middle. The other one has kind of a different color to it. I think I might pick up this one. This milk glass vase in the back has, uh, I think those are pansies. I have 65 on that one though. Ooh, look at that. I like the pattern on that. What is that? Bohemia Crystal. $38. That bowl is very nice, too. It's a fused glass. $35 on that. Like I said, it just keeps going and going. <laughs> I think I'm going to grab these two pieces. I feel like that's a reasonable price for those. This one on the bottom is signed. It looks like P. Keck. I think is what it says. 
I don't think they're uh, actually matchy matchy. I think they're different. And I think that I have seen uh, wine glasses in this same pattern before. It's almost like a stained glass pattern. Uh, but I think it's nice. Mid-century. I like it. Down here is the moon and stars. It looks like they have a amber fairy light there. Um, 65 is probably what I would expect for, for that lamp as well. Mac here is a covered dish. It's only $14. I almost wonder what's going on there. Why is it only $14? I feel like it could be double, double that. But one of the common issues I see with the moon and stars is right around here. It has a tendency to chip and crack. Only $14 on that little dish. I don't see any condition issues, so I'll take that one. Up there on the very tippy top shelf is a pink depression glass vase with painting on it and it has beautiful florals. I'm going to reach for it and I think that maybe I can reach it. We're about to find out. Let's see. Oh yes, we got it. Okay. <laughs> $20. Kind of a fall theme with the leaves. I don't know if those would be poppies or just red flowers. I don't see any damage on it and only $20. Here is some Fostoria American, and the Fostoria American that I like the most is the red down here. I think it's a little bit harder to find though. This one they have 175 on it, and that one's 135. And then all of the candle wick. Here are some more Fostoria. Those are really pretty. I love the swirls, and I love that they have all the different colors. Lots of depression glass. Tommy knows his depression glass <laughs> better than anyone I know. And there's the rest of the candle wick and the boopy, <laughs> all the things. All right, let's see what we have over on this shelf. There is a galley vase up there, 195. I really love this apothecary um, for 18. I feel like I want to get that down too, but that one's a little bit more scary because it has a lid. So I'm probably not going to try to pull that one down. <laughs> this over here is beautiful. It's uh, 1500, but it has an acid etched design with blue. That's just stunning. Okay, well, it took me a few minutes of staring at the shelves before this finally came into focus back here. It is a smoke glass and it's ribbed and I really like it. You know, okay. Hmm, I'm gonna figure this out. Let's set these over here for now, maybe. I think we're gonna take that guy with us. Smoky glass, $22. I like the looks of that. Nice shape. All right. There's some uh, Atterberry here. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is so cool. We have $600 on that. I've never seen a complete set before. So I have wandered into one of the back rooms and I have found the pottery. There's some mauve agate hager down here. And I found these interesting. I had never seen these before. These are wade parrot pitchers. And those are adorable. I had never seen those before. Uh, it looks like 95, 125, and 95. So I'm sure that's probably about what they're worth. Mm. <laughs> I love those anthropomorphic apples. And then that right there looks like it could be full to graph. $65. I noticed this Hager vase up here for $65. And I kind of like the color of that. That blue. As you know, in my office, I have the orange. <laughs> but I like the blue. At least that color blue. Kind of a turquoise and a navy blue at the same time and they're asking 65 for that so i'm gonna take that with me I'll probably get 20 percent off all right so here down the long hallway we have a few different themed rooms this room right here is the vintage room so let's go see what we can find in here here is a beautiful chintz um little tidbit tray this is the pattern the pattern is melody I like the light blue. I think I'm attracted to the light blue on this. I'm not sure at 55 though. 
I love the pattern on these plates here. I believe it's probably a, a master berry and the little berry dishes. Uh, it's 45 on that, and I might consider that. I'm just checking out what else we have over here in the case. Here's a tin type. Here we are at the collectibles room. Look at all those salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> the anthropomorphic ones are still here. I remember when uh, Tommy had these over at Mad Hatter. Yeah, I'm still I think I bought like five pairs of them. <laughs> This is a chintz salt and pepper. This little doggy is very sweet. What is that? Burslem, England Midwinter Limited. I don't think I've heard of that before. Oh, this is adorable. $15. You put your little spoons in there. It's a spoon nest. <laughs> 15 for the set. The cat's meow. $5 a piece. It's a lot of cat's meow. Those lamps are contemporary, but they're beautiful birds on them. But they would look lovely if they were plugged in. It's weird to me that the cord, oh I was going to say the cord is so short. Looks like it's a little bit longer than that. It's only 28 for the pair. They're made to look kind of Art Nouveau. You can see here on the base. Oh and they are different. I thought they were the same. $28 a piece. Check out the mushroom shelf. This is new. I don't remember this being here. <laughs> Some really giant mushrooms. They look like they could be made in China, but the, I love the colors. Those are so funny. I especially love the yellow. They look great with my new my new table that I bought the other week. Oh, those are adorable. It's a teaspoon set, so there is no tablespoon. Twelve dollars for that set. I think I'll pick those up for 12 bucks. Those are just too cute to pass up. <laughs> Some head vases. Oh, left in a wall plaque. Mother in the kitchen, prayer lady. Also some Wedgwood, and down there is the peanuts. This dog teapot up here is something else. I'm not really sure what's going on here. There's <laughs> like a little lady on his tie, and I'm not sure what he has in his mouth. It's twenty five dollars. I wonder what the bottom says on that. Animals and Company. Hmm. Twenty five bucks. I mean, I'll pick up a weirdo teapot for twenty five dollars. <laughs> it's so strange. I love it. Well, Tommy just pointed out that this thing in his mouth is actually his tongue, and that makes so much more sense. Oh, those are his little teeth. I thought he had like a like a toy in his mouth. I'm like, well, what is that? No, that's his tongue. You're right. <laughs> They're all different. Little Roy and Buck. Yeah, I like those. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll take them. They're 120 for all of them? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Lena Liu. Bradford Exchange. They're really pretty. I thought they were older than that, though. They look like it. Rules of the Garden. Huh. I'm not familiar with that one, so I think I'll kind of know. But the Villarion Bach, yes. Look at this is 1888. Oh wow. And look how beautiful their handwriting was. It is just Is it a photo album or is it just no, like it's all notes like and stuff? Notes to them. Oh wow. But the handwriting is it's so amazing. beautiful. Like that is fantastic. That's really cool. And the album is in such good shape too. A lot of the times they're all faded and sun worn. Those photos are adorable with the little <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I just realized that I neglected this entire section of stuff. So I figured I'd come over here and look at it. 
Now there's some Wedgwood. I kind of like this figurine. It's very heavy though. It is signed on the bottom. Kind of sweet. I don't know though. And then Tommy had asked if I'd come over here and seen the lamps. I'm like, you know, I avoided that corner because there's lots of furniture and I really don't need any new furniture right now. But these lamps are just fantastic. Uh, he's got 950 on this one, 750 on this one, and they're electrified. So we were we were discussing um, these lamps, and these are lamps that I've never really dealt with before. You guys know I'm more of the mid-century style, uh, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Here I've found some bark cloth. I don't know if these were fabric samples. Uh, because they are squares. They're $10 a piece. And I think these would make for wonderful pillows. Looks like um, Bassett McNabb decorative drapery and upholstery fabrics. Yeah, I think that maybe those are samples. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. I think I'm going to buy those though because I think those would make some great pillows. I might try to get my mom to sew me some pillows. <laughs> She's the seamstress. These owl planters were adorable. I love the big eyes. $18 a piece. There are two of them. I'm considering buying one of them um, and leaving the other one. I think maybe I will. I'm going to buy this one. Here we are at the infamous $5 room. <laughs> Let's see what we can find in here. This is similar to the stuff that Tommy has in his $5 booth over at Mad Hatter. Oh, look at these. I had that nativity once. I had found it at Goodwill. Oh, look at that cat for $5. That's fantastic. What is it? Oh, it's wood. Handcrafted in India. I like that cat. It's wood with lacquer on it. Heated their water up on here, her and her sister. So this was their, they made tomato soup and split pea soup. And, and it actually their, plugs and it, in and works. Yeah, it works. And then grilled cheese in there. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh. That was her stove. That's adorable. And then the marks. Yeah, um, she had a place that yep. and all the goodies are in that box down there. Oh, fantastic. That's in good shape too. Yeah, that's nice. There's a very cool couple cool pieces we just put in. Oh yeah. This guy. Whoops. Is that right? You can be this, <laughs> this guy we just put in. Oh, that's that really neat. Lantern. And then the Halloween oh my gosh. Lantern, which is beautiful. What? I love that one. That is so cool. I've never seen those before. And then this thing just folds flat like that for storage. Oh, for storage. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I love that. It's really neat. That's super cool. And like these are the new new ones that like you can yeah. buy. The same, I mean, that's Same just, concept, yeah. but yeah, that's actually vintage. And here's some more Pyrex in the front. I love the black and white, which is crazy because you guys know how much I love color. I found one of those at the Goodwill once. That was a beautiful day. All right, so of course I have to film the Swan Glass vases that Tommy has here. It's kind of amazing. He also has these two Viking figurines. Uh, I've had this one before, the blue dog. That one's kind of rare. And then the blue rooster as well. I kind of like that vase in the back. They have 48 on there. It's an amethyst uh, center with the amber on the outside. I don't think I'm going to grab it today though. There's just so much glass and I think we've, we've bought quite a few pieces today. That feather design down there is beautiful as well. That's 48. All right, so here is the card, the Vintage Kitchen and Antiques, the address. Um, and here is Tommy's eBay. A lot of you were asking about that the last time I was in. So Tomcat 9 ER2 is their eBay shop. Um, and the hours are every day, except for Wednesday, Wednesday. right? 10, cool. 10 to 5. 10 to 5. So there you go. Okay, well that was a really fun shopping trip. It's been a while since we stopped in at the Vintage Kitchen, but it's always a treat. They're always super friendly, and they have such an amazing selection of glassware. It just blows my mind.
Someday I wish to acquire this much glass, but it <laughs> probably won't happen. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. My total spend was $372, and we got some really great stuff today. So um, I guess I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.